Have you ever wondered how cinemas produce that rich sound that makes you feel like you are in the movie? Have you ever wondered how that you feel so much part of the movie when that supercar moves from one side of the room to the other, but then it's just a speaker to make you feel so? It's called surround sound. Hi there, my name is Aramid Yadim and welcome back to the Data channel and um, today we're going to be discussing surround sound and we're going to be discussing how you can have surround sound in your home. So what exactly is surround sound? Um, surround sound comes under different definitions, Some people call it um, Dolby surround, actually it comes under different modifications, it could be Dolby surround, Dolby Atmos. I'm sure you've heard of things like surround 5.1 3d sound actually surround sound is a form of 3d sound it's a form of three-dimensional sound which um, tries to enrich um, sound and brings depth into the sound produced by using multiple audio channels from speakers that surround the listener basically the idea behind the surround sound is actually to make you feel the sound as if it were real um, but it's virtual so it's actually virtual um, reproduction virtual reproduction of reality so it's a virtual reality in that sense why exactly we want a surround sound system when I just have um, just plain sound oh well surround sound system is very interesting and very um, cool to listen to it's basically for immersive sound experience Although there may be some other professional use, some other professional reasons for using surround sound, a good example will be in the musical stage experience. If you want to listen to a musical performance which was done on stage, you know, you will want to hear all the different parts and want to have a pictorial view of the sound in your mind. So you want to, if you listen to the sound, you will want to know who, well, if the double bass is coming from the right side if the drum is coming from the left or the far side or you have the saxophone in the center so surround sound gives you an idea of how the stage is arranged when it comes to music so that's one particular um, application of surround sound the other applications of surround sound but you know for the purpose of this video it gives you that immersive effect while listening to sound and it has a very good use in movies like we said earlier it was first used in movie theaters and so how exactly do you set up surround sound experience most home theaters come with a surround system installed on them depending on the kind of setup that you find um, so to set it up you would need um, speakers that support it and when it comes to surround sound um, don't let anyone deceive you. Surround sound needs more than one speaker. You can't have surround sound with just one speaker. If someone tells you that you have surround sound with one speaker, and then it has maybe different parts at which it um, you know, dishes out sound and then creates a surround effect. It's not likely. You can have a form of 3D sound with one speaker, but surround sound, no. You will need at least about three speakers yeah before you can have that surround effect so these three speakers will have to work in sync uh, to give you that surround immersive effect so you will need speakers that support it that's the first thing you need and then the second thing you need to do is to position it you will need to position those speakers appropriately so we have different forms of surround configurations so Com the, com the most common one is the surround 5.1 so we have the surround 5.1 surround 7.1 surround 10.1 and on and on and on and the most um, obvious differences between these um, setups is the number of speakers that you have in the setup so in a surround 5.1 you have a setup of six speakers while in the surround 7.1 you have a total number of um, eight speakers and then the arrangement of these speakers would actually determine how well the surround you feel the surround effect that comes from these speakers so positioning is very important like i said we have different setups so 
for the commonest one which is around 5.1 you want to arrange it this way so you have a speaker that is placed centrally in front of the listener then you have another one on the left about 60 degrees from the listener you have another one on the right also about 60 degrees to the listener then we have one at the back of the speaker both left and right which um, are called the left surround and right surround yeah, about 120 degrees to the speaker and um, we also have the um, subwoofer which gives the low frequencies which can be placed pretty much anywhere but um, preferably it should be in front of the speaker so that it has uh, a balanced sound in that sense but it can be placed anywhere really um, so that's basically how that works so we have a center left right and then we have a far right or far left or left surround and right surround as the case may be so that's how it works for the surround 5.1 as you can see in this diagram here it's very easy to set up so just set it up around the speaker if it's the 7.1 you have two extra speakers you know that are placed at these points as you can see in the picture here um so once you're done with positioning the speaker then you have to test the surround system with surround sound so there are links on youtube online but i can link you up to a youtube video that shows a surround system so you can click in the link um in the description showing right now on your screen so what it basically does is that it distributes the sound to the various speaker components and sees if those speaker components um, respond uh, uh, accurately to the signal it's giving them. So if it's giving a left signal, the left speaker should pick up that signal. If it's giving a right signal, the right, the right speaker should pick up that signal. If it's giving uh, a woofer signal, then the woofer should pick up that signal so basically that's what the sound test does so when you're done with the sound test you're pretty much set up with your home theater and you're good to go um, so one thing you need to know when you have a home theater with a surround system in built or 3d sound um, setup is that you need to have sound dampeners basically sound dampeners help you to dampen the sound and absorb unnecessary echoes or unnecessary reflections of sound so now if you're in a room that you have pretty much nothing like just an empty room which space all over the place nothing to absorb sound and all that so the sound would tend to bounce a lot so to bounce off walls bounce off um, mostly walls it will bounce off surfaces and there will be a lot of reverb reverberation and um, echo probably so you want to have sound dampeners things like carpets um, curtains you know things like that that will absorb sound and help the sound to retain its quality so I'm sure you're probably asking now that okay yes you've talked about surround sound so what kind of surround sound would you recommend oh well there are a few brands common brands which you probably even know about already that are trusted when it comes to sound systems home theaters and things like that and a few of them are samsung lg sony i'll put a link to some products that you can get under such brands like this and uh, that are good products products that i would recommend that you can get that have this surround effect this 3d sound design so you can check those links and then purchase those products another thing is if you're worried about um power consumption probably you're under inverter power or something like that so these sound systems these home theaters um, usually are rated from 300 watts upwards from 300 watts upwards the surround sound systems not any other sound system so they're usually from 300 watts upward and ideally shouldn't be less than 300 watts if you want that crisp sound that you need but for most home settings 300 watts is just okay you don't need more than that except you really 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 are very serious about your sound then you can go for 1000 watts 1200 watts but 300 watts 300 watts can work very well on an inverter system and last 
for as long as possible. 300 watts is just fine and it's cheap, it's very common, easily accessible. You have various brands or various models and companies that make sound systems with 300 watts that use 300 watts of power. So I think that'll be your best bet. But if you want 1000 watts, that's fine. There are links below to get uh, um, different sound systems, 300 watts, 1000 watts. Um, so you can check those links and then check those products out. But note that 300 watts is significantly cheaper than the higher power ratings. But then if you're just looking for a sound system that just works basically for, you know, a small room, self-contained, you know, I don't think you need more than this here. This doesn't give surround sound, but this speaker I'm showing you right here, I use it in my apartment and it gives very, very good sound, balanced sound, everything you need in sound, this speaker gives you. And so you can check out this speaker too. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can purchase the speaker from. This speaker does very well. Bluetooth has everything and then it has all, you know, all need, it needs to make sound good. It has, you know, that hole at the back I told you about in that previous video that helps to balance the bass sound, you know, separates right from left, the stereo effect and all that. So it's just fine. All right. So we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Um, you can comment in the comment section below and you can also subscribe uh, to this channel to get more. And if you're thinking of getting a new sound system, you're thinking of purchasing one, um, there is an unboxing of, uh, of an LG um, 5.1 surround system that I did. Uh, you can check the video card showing in your screen right now and you can look at that unboxing of that video. And, you know check check it out and I'll also leave a link in the description below to get to purchase that particular um, brand of um, LG 5.1 surround system and so you can just check out that unboxing video and you know see if you like it all right